Welcome back to your daily message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Julianne Duffy. My purpose is to live, speak, and seek the truth in all forms to help reconnect humanity to the highest form of authenticity. And my intention when I pull the daily message is that the cards will help heal and serve you in the most divine and appropriate way. Today I am pulling from the Quan Yin Oracle Cards by Elena Fairchild. So let's dive in and find out what message our guides have for us today. The first card, Turquoise Lotus Mother. Our next one, Many Hands of the Goddess. And our last card, Immortal Treasures. Wow. So take a moment, take a deep breath in, and as we exhale, we're just going to allow ourselves to get centered and open, and let's dive into each of these cards to examine our message for today. So we start here with the Turkish Lotus Mother. This one is really that there's many lessons that we are in the process of learning, and that these are part of our spiritual growth. So I really feel like this is a very much like the karma idea here. And some of the spiritual growth cut right to the core of our being and challenge us so deeply that even as we learn the lessons and practice the wisdom, we still struggle to outgrow this grip, this pattern. So whatever this thing is, as we go through it spiritually, we work on it, work on it, work on it, but it still has that grip. Well, what we really want in need is a spiritual rescue remedy and to be, free ourselves from that persistent pain. And so the compassionate and spiritually powerful Ma Kuan Yin, the Torquist Lotus Mother, seeks to bless us with karmic healing so we may be lifted from these struggles and that we can simply leave them behind us. Our soul has learned what's needed from the situation and it asks that our divines, for a divine hands up because we have been going through it. We just need that little help. A little help. And uh, so if we listen to our guidance now, notice that you feel if you feel inspired to listen repeatedly to healing music, go to a class, meditate at home, anything like that. These are the, the attempts from Divine Mother to reach you, to help you with these karmic healings and blessing. Be as open as you can to be guided and allow your divine karmic healing of the Torcus Lotus Mother to reach you. Her Healing nature cleanses and protects your energy field, and her lotus heart shines through to your own heart, bringing you peace. The Divine Mother has a simple wish to help nurture you and get over whatever this karmic harm issue is that we have. This can also indicate that we have been working with crystals, especially if we have a tur turquoise one. Continue to do so as it is empowering us and helping us uh, to to completely become conscious. So it's interesting that I have a turquoise one right here. So there you go. So we're being guided to keep working with the turquoise and that we are connecting to get those healings from our Divine Mother. Now, if we jump to our next part of the message, the many hands of the goddess. So this one is that we can often be focusing, focusing on more than one project at a time, seeing it through to completion and then tending tending to the next one. Sometimes our attention might get stretched across numerous projects, especially if we have a lot of natural creative and energy at our disposal. So we might be worrying that we're stretching ourselves um, beyond our productivity and that our energy might be dissipated. So we might be flipping from one project to another and maybe feeling like we're not really completing anything. The guidance from Goddess Kuan Yin is to release the worries and the attentions and to let her guide us as we go through all these different projects. Because really what it's, it's saying is that sometimes we have to let go of a project, take a break, and then come back to it. And that's part of us being able to come back to that creative energy, right? So when we feel to step back from it, rest, do so. And then in the rest, you will replenish and gain new perspective to be able to return to creative work and be more productive. It is essential part of the process and that we need to trust that she's uplifting, guiding and instructing us through our intuition so that the projects and creative desires we manifest are of the highest wisdom and the best, best order and timing. So that might also be part of it is that we have a lot going on, but it's not always the right timing to complete the certain projects. So don't be afraid to surrender projects to her if they seem to be taken out 
of your hand for this time, maybe stepping back, surrender, allow that they'll come back to you in the right time, perhaps in revised form, more in alignment with what we are doing at that time. So we're just being assisting us through this process and we are going to be accomplishing more than we thought was possible and we are assisted by the universe. So that's what that one means. And then as we jump to our last card, the immortal treasures, this is really just each soul has a unique and precision of its own way. Certain souls are here to light the light of healing and those that are watching that are here right now Yours is one of those. You are one such soul here to help bring the light of healing. Your presence on this planet consciously recognize, consciously, you, okay, some, oh my goodness, good thing I can read. Your presence on this planet brings light and hope to others, sometimes in ways that you don't consciously recognize. There we go. Kuan Yin is with you, guiding you to open, to be open to perceiving and utilizing the immortal treasures that lay within you, the beautiful light and gifts of your own divine soul. Just remember to take care of yourself too. An empty cup cannot fill another. It is better to allow your inner cup to be spiritually filled and emotionally and physically replenished through balanced self-care. Sometimes a bit of indulgence balanced with loving discipline will help us make, make ourselves feel safe and secure. And find the right way to take care of yourself. Explore what might work for you. So these are, this is telling us, take that time and that moment. Because we are these light healers. So if you need to take some time to meditate, do yoga, sit with a crystal, talk with your guides, meditate, you know, meditate, write your journal, you know, a retreat. Your, abil your healing ability will increase. You'll find better and more powerful strengths with it, especially as we go through the self-exploration of care and that self-care. This oracle can also indicate it might be helpful for us to explore an issue that we have had problems healing with, which is one of the things brought up with our first card, is that we might be struggling with something we've been really trying to let go. So this is letting us know that maybe this is a perfect one. So if we have that issue, bringing it up now and trusting that it's it's time to heal and let it go. Contemplating visiting a healer, again, very much like it said with this, finding that person to work with, which does overlap with also our message from yesterday, where we might be looking to get ourselves in alignment with a new teacher, guide, intuitive instructor. And so that's also supporting that as well. You trust your intuition and allow yourself to honor your own special light and the need that you might have for receiving the healing just for you at this time too. And our immortal treasures, the Kuan Yin, will help us find the way. So that's kind of the overview. There's a lot with these cards and I like to go into those details. You know, I want to give you, you know, as I'm learning these cards as well, I want to give you a feel, full view. So I feel like First off, we're being guided that it is time to fully heal. Trust that we are being, we're letting go of those things that we don't need anymore and that we've got the support. The Divine Mother is there helping and assisting us. And we have got a lot of projects going on and that is a good thing. But don't get stressed out about all the different things we're manifesting and creating right now. Just keep putting it out. Some of these things we're just going to be like yesterday with the banquet. Might be simmering in the background. We're almost ready for them, but they might not be quite that divine timing yet so we might have to sit back take a moment from some of these projects and trust that the timing is going to come and then the immortal immortal treasures is that we are that healing light we need to take care of ourselves and if there is that stagnant stuck thing that we've been working on this is the time to let it go and trust that divine mother um kuan yin this, our guides are helping to get rid of this issue so it can be healed and let go and then we'll be able to support those projects even more. So that is the overview of our divine message for today. As always, my intention, like I mentioned at the beginning, is that this message will help heal and serve you. And whatever you get out of this message, whether it's a passage I read or my interpretation, whatever you get from it will heal you in the most divine way as we go forward with our day. And if you haven't, please do like, share, and subscribe. Stay up to date with all of my content and our daily messages. As always, have a beautiful day. Until tomorrow, namaste.